anytime it's freezing outside below 32 degrees, just assume that there's gonna be black ice out there. So when you go out there and you go out and pick up your paper in the morning, just test, test the walk to make sure it's not slippery. Assume that it's there as opposed to assume that it's not there. And I think you can really make a lot of safety improvements uh, and decrease your risk of falling. Um, we see definitely uh, wrist and forearm type injuries. We also see a lot of hip fractures and lower back injuries um, from falling. Let's talk about salt, little sodium chloride. You can put this down on your walk. This is good to help prevent falls. Um, it mel melts the ice. Important to spread it out there and um, check on it every once in a while. Sometimes more than one application is necessary. If you do have a fall at home, then I, I would recommend from a, a fall, if you have bruising, to put some ice on it. That's going to help with the swelling. Elevate the extremity if it's an ankle sprain or something like that. Try and rest and keep off it as much as you can. Tylenol and ibuprofen are both very uh, safe if taken appropriately um, and not in excess. So I would use one of those two things to help with the pain control. I would recommend that all of the, the family members that have seniors that are living independently, that at this time in the year you go out and check on them or call them daily to make sure that they haven't gone out for their paper and slipped and fallen and are laying outside. You have the risk of injury from the fall, but you also have the risk of hypothermia if they've fallen outside and no one has, has been around to check on them. So really it's important to check on people frequently uh, with these cold months upon us. Even a fall in the house, if they don't have their heat turned up, can cause really severe hypothermia if they've been down for a long time. The other thing is when you see people out there that are uh, older in age and they're shoveling their snow or they're on their walks, go by and offer a helping hand because it really is an uh, increased risk for uh, for falls and mortality in the, in the senior population.